Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 23. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to find which application is consuming the most system temporary table space. So as the top of the slide indicates, the solution is to use the db2pd command. So db2pd hyphen db db name hyphen tcb stats id. The id is the temp table space id we can give. So that is the solution. Uh, before getting into the solution, uh, we are uh, just having a look at what are all the operations that will be consuming the system temporary table space. So it can be a simple uh, select query with order by class, group by class or join operations like when you use multiple tables and join using like nested loop join or hash join or sort merge join like these kind of join operations will consume system temporary table space. Uh, creation of indexes on a table, reorganization of a table or index, th those can also consume and load utility after loading the data it will re uh, rebuild the index as part of the uh, after the data load completion is over it will rebuild the indexes if there are indexes on the table so that time also you will find the system temporary table space getting utilized and uh, uh, declared global temporary tables and created global temporary table or common global temporary table are out of scope because they will be consuming user temporary table space uh, they will not be consuming system temporary table space that's why we are not taking uh, those things for the discussion uh, but the command uh, as the solution indicates the command remains the same the solution remains the same db2 pd hyphen db db name hyphen tcb stats id in fact here in the id you have to give the temporary table space id uh, but the command does not have any restrictions you can give any uh, table space id like uh, user space one or catalog table space you can give and get those table space statistics but we are using uh, we are by passing the temporary table space id we are just looking at the temporary table space uh, utilization okay uh, application handle so it will give you the output of the db2pd command when it used with tcb stats it will give you which application handle is uh, consuming uh, the storage in bytes the temporary table space utilization in bytes will be given okay let's quickly jump into a few examples here to make it more uh, clear So here I am just connecting to a test database. I have table huge underscore staff and then I have uh, another table huge underscore data. So what I am going to do is I am going to load the uh, huge underscore data with 2.5 million records. So it is a very huge uh, uh, number of records are getting loaded and there is also an index on huge underscore data table which is called huge underscore index. So the index rebuild operation will consume a lot of temporary table space. We can see that. And we are also creating index huge staff underscore IDX on huge staff table. So these two kind of operations will uh, create, uh, will consume a lot of temporary table space. So we'll, we'll see that, okay. So first we go to app one, okay. And I'm just listing the table spaces. Okay. So here you can see that temp space one is actually with table space ID one. And this is the path, uh, the container path of the temp table space. Okay. So we, we have to pass the ID one there. Okay. That is why I am, I am just showing you that. Okay. So le let us go to app two and I'll run the first, the command db2 pd hyphen db test hyphen tcb stats one. I will just show you what it outputs. Okay. So as of now, low load utilities are running. So this is the typical output of db2 pd hyphen db test hyphen tcb stats one. So this is the key information that we should be looking at tcb table stats. And here you will find that see here store bytes. So this is the thing that we should look for. The store bytes will tell us how many bytes of uh, storage is getting allocated and uh, what is the table name for which it is allocated and what is the schema name? Okay, so here you will find uh, the information as to which application is uh, consuming how much sto storage. Okay, so let us just first run the utility. Okay, so let us run the load utility first. Okay, come here. Okay, enter. So now it is the utility has started loading it. Okay. So when I run this command now, here you will see that, see here, it is the temp table space. Uh, the table name is temp, 001, it internally uses something. Here it gives you the application handle. Look at here, seven is the application handle. 
okay and the stored bytes is this much okay now if i run it again you will find that the storage space is gradually increasing okay see here now so it is in bytes so 101 mb it has used 101 mb as of now okay so i'll run one more time see here it is using now 145 mb it has used okay this is the temp table space and if you quickly go to the uh, and this is the application handle see the application handle is 7 so if i say db2 list applications you will find that uh, see here the application handle is 7 so there is also another application 17 which is not doing anything okay so only the application handle 7 is consuming as of now okay because that is the place where uh, the load utility is running okay so you'll say that okay so it has consumed 172 mb roughly okay and we can also look at the uh, space usage like for example the temp space usage you will find that uh, that is also running okay so db2 inst1 node 00 test t001 cmp okay see here 170 mb this is the temporary uh, table that is created there so that is also shown here okay okay and what we'll do is we'll simultaneously run another one operation also we'll do create index operation also on this okay okay so we have i have create i have triggered create index operation also now let's look at the table stats see here now it shows for 17 okay so the 7 is actually probably over okay the 7 operation should have been completed see the load has completed okay so it has removed the 7 entry and it is giving us the 17 entry which is create index operation okay so let us run one more time see for application id for application id 17 now it is trying to use uh, 17 mb approximately okay still going on okay still going on still going on still the storage space. yes it's now done right okay so the temporary table space consumption is over the command should also be now completed okay it's going to take some time probably it is the commit operation yeah it's done right so you will see now there is no uh, utilization so it will give you for which application id if you look at the sample here so for which application id what is the temp table name okay roughly and uh, how much storage bytes it's consumed right so it, it will clearly give you that and another thing is if the same application is consuming uh, two three temp tables then you will have to sum up all those things okay sum up all the storage bytes then take a, a total of it okay so that is how it works now now this is a very simple uh, example of how to find out which application will consume more uh, temporary table space the command is db2pd hyphen db test tcb stats the temporary table space id okay that's it in this video tutorial thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel db2luw academy see you in the next video tutorial bye bye